Hey there, once again, and welcome to another series on our Jam Labos episodes. And of course, today we are looking at uh, the Jam Labos for agriculture. Okay, that means if you pick agriculture as uh, part of your subject combination, okay, you need what uh, these Jam Labos to guide you as you prepare for your examination. Okay, I think agri has about one of the highest number of topics. Okay, after Christian religious studies among all the subjects for jam. Okay, it has a total of 48 topics. A total of 48 topics. This means that, of course, you do not have the luxury of time and you need to start preparing early. Nobody's deceiving you when, when you are told to start early, all right? You think you have time. Some of you say, one month to exam, I will prepare. All right, you can still do that and pass. Okay, but what are the chances? What are the probability? All right, that's why it's expected of you to start very early. Okay, like for the jam syllabus, you're expected to at least go around, go through your jam syllabus at least three times for each of the subjects. So for our Greek, now you're supposed to finish the syllabus once everything, answer questions, go again. Then last one will not be the icing on the cake. All right, so please ensure you start immediately. Don't be deceived. Uh, this uh, series is brought to you by the O3 School Jam app. The app has all you need to succeed in your exam. The app is specifically for students who want to pass their exam at once, okay? So in case you uh, want to have made a decision that this jam is your last jam, okay? You will never write jam again, okay? This is your first jam, this is your last jam, or this is your second jam, this is the last jam, or third jam, this is the last jam. Get the application. It has all the past questions you need for exam, right? Has wonderful feature like the classroom feature with lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus. Has other features like the question start feature where you can search for question according to the topic, and then also the mock challenge with that one. It helps to put you in competitive mode. All right, in that mock challenge, every student that's writing jam for this year come to the app compete with each other to win amazing prizes. Apart from winning prizes, they get you to jump past question, jump likely exam question, as well as a whole lot of other interesting couple of things, like how to familiarize with it, themselves with how jump set their questions. And also you'll see your result released every Saturday, just like jump. So you'll not be scared when they say jam don't release result. So please get the app activated. Activation is just for a little fee. Pay the price, pay the sacrifice and what and start now. So the aim of the agricultural syllabus is to prepare you, of course, for agricultural examination in JAM and, of course, uh, to also achieve the objectives of agriculture, which are to stimulate and sustain your interest, to acquire business knowledge and practical skills in agriculture, to acquire the knowledge of interpretations and use of data, to stimulate the ability to make deductions using the acquired knowledge in agriculture. The syllabus is divided into five sections as given below. One is general agriculture, two is agronomy, C is animal production, D is agricultural economics and extension, E is agricultural technology. Okay, let's see the detailed syllabus. The first section A, the first topic here is meaning and scope of agriculture. Okay, on that is look at definition of agriculture, look at branches of agriculture, look at types of agriculture that is subsistence and commercial. Two, we have importance of agriculture, look at provision of raw materials for agro-allied industries, look at provision of employment, look at development of rural areas. Three, we look at agricultural ecology, all right? Look at ecological zones of West Africa, we look at agricultural products of each ecological zone, then we look at environmental factors and their effects on crop and livestock production. Fourth topic here is genetics. Look at first and second laws of Mendel. Look at cell division. We look at terminology, e.g., locus, alleles, genotype, dominance. Five, look at farm inputs. Look at planting materials, agrochemicals. Sixth topic is history of agricultural development in West Africa. Look at agricultural systems. Look at problem of agricultural development. Look at est uh, establishment of national research institutes. Look at agricultural development projects. We look at national agricultural programs such as OFN, all right, and the likes. Seven topic here is roles of government and NGOs in agricultural developments. All right, we look at development of fiscal policies, uh, policies rather favorable to agricultural production. We look at agricultural laws and reforms. We look at uh, government programs aimed at agricultural development. We look at uh, provision of infrastructures. We look at contribution of NGOs to agricultural development. Section B is agronomy. All right, under this look at rocks and soil formation. All right, we look at factors affecting rock weathering and soil formation. Look at physical properties of soil, soil profile, soil texture and structure, chemical properties of soil. Look at soil acidity and alkalinity. Look at chemical components of soil. 
Then the second topic is soil water and soil conservation. And that is look at soil water, look at its importance, sources, movement, management, and conservation. Then look at soil conservation, look at meaning and importance, causes, effects, prevention, and control of leaching, erosion, continuous cropping, burning, and oxidation of organic matter. Look at also irrigation and drainage methods. That is also soil fertility. All right, and on that is look at macro and micronutrients and their roots in plant nutrition. Look at the living population of the soil. We look at the maintenance of soil fertility. We look at nutrient deficiency symptoms. Fourth topic is land preparation and soil tillage. We look at principles and practices of land preparation and soil tillage. We look at factors affecting choice of tillage methods. Five is plant forms and functions. We look at parts of monocot and dicot crop plants and their functions. Look at the anatomy and morphology of the storage organs of common crop plants. Sixth topic is growth, development, and reproduction. We we'll look at uh, gametogenesis, we'll look at pollination, we'll look at uh, fertilization, we'll look at embryo formation and development. Then we we'll look at plant propagation methods, we'll look at sexual, the use of seeds, seed viability, viability test, seed rates, and seed germination. We we'll look at asexual, that is vegetative propagation, e.g., cutting. Boarding, grafting, layering, and the likes. Then we see nursery and nursery management. Then we see cropping systems, planting patterns, and plant densities. Look at cropping systems, monocropping, mixed, multiple, inter, relay, strip, and rotational cropping. Look at planting patterns, row casting, row spacing, and drilling. Look at plant densities, single, double, and multiple stamps. Ninth topic is crop husbandry. We look at common and scientific names, gross morphology, anatomy of storage organs, methods of propagation, husbandry practices, harvesting, processing and storage, common diseases and pests, economic importance of the following groups of crops, that is the cereals, look at legumes, look at tubers, look at vegetables and species, and spices rather, we look at uh, uh, fruits, we look at beverages, we look at oils, we look at latex, we look at fibers, we look at sugars. Tenth topic is pasture and forage crops. We can study of gross morphology, methods of propagation, and husbandry of common pasture grasses and legumes. We look at study of natural grasslands and their distribution in West Africa. We look at range management. Eleventh topic is floriculture. We look at identification, establishment, maintenance, and uses of ornamental trees, shrubs, and flowers. Twelfth topic is weeds. Look at the gross morphology, methods of reproduction, dispersal, and effects of weeds. Look at weed control methods, weeding, mulching, cover cropping, tillage, herbicides, and trap cropping. Thirteen topic is crop diseases. We will identify uh, disease causing organisms both in store and in the feed. Look at a simple account of disease caused by fungi, by bacteria, by nematodes, and viruses the nature of the damage, methods of transmission, and common methods of control. You look at side effects of application of preventive and control methods, e.g. pollution, uh, poisoning, and distribution of ecosystem. Fourteen topic here is crop pests. And that is look at general account of pests of agricultural plants, both in the feed and in the store, their types, importance, principles, and methods of prevention and control. Look at life cycles of biting insects, e.g. grasshopper, boring insects, e.g. weevils, sucking insects, such as aphids and cutting strainer. Then look at common pesticides and their side effects. Fifteen topic here is forest management, that is silviculture. We we'll look at importance, source of wood, pulp, fiber, and other forest products. We we'll look at conservation, that is regulation, exploitation, re regeneration, afforestation, agroforestry, and tongia system. Then look at 16 topic crop improvement methods of crop improvement e.g introduction selection crossing quarantine then this is the third section which is animal production and that is look at uh, the first topic you look at forms and classification of major farm animals in west africa forms and classification of major farm animals in west africa all right look at species breeds and distribution look at external features of cattle sheep goats, pigs, rabbits, and poultry. Look at general terminology in animal production. Look at common terms used in animal husbandry, e.g. calfing, kidding, castrate, capon, veal, mutton, etc. 
Then we'll look at uh, anatomy and physiology of farm animals, look at functions of tissues and organs of farm animals, look at uh, animal body systems, this is di uh, digestive, ruminant and non-ruminant, look at reproductive, respiratory, uh, urinary, that is excretory, and nervous systems. Then see the effect of environmental changes on physiological development of farm animals, e.g. climate change. Fourth topic is reproduction in farm animals. We see gametogenesis, ostrich cycle, uh, signs of heat and heat periods, secondary sexual characters, gestation periods, patrutrition, and the role of hormones in reproduction. We we'll look at development, nourishment, and birth of the young, mammary glands and lactation in farm animals, Look at egg formation, incubation, and hatching in poultry. Then that will take us to animal nutrition where we see feeds, nutrients, and functions. We see feeds and feeding, simple ration formulation, balanced ration, common pasture or forage crops, okay, e.g. guinea grass, elephant grass, giant star grass, andropogon species, calopogonium species, hay and silage preparation, different types of rations, namely maintenance ration and production ration. They'll look at nutrient deficiencies, we look at causes and symptoms of malnutrition and their correction in farm animals. Look at livestock management, housing, feeding, sanitation, and veterinary care of ruminants, pigs, rabbits, and poultry under intensive, semi-intensive, and extensive systems of management from bed to slaughter. Then we'll go to animal health, see animal diseases, pathology, look at environmental factors predisposing animals to diseases causal organisms, symptoms, transmissions, and effects, preventive and curative methods for diseases caused by viruses, bacteria, fungi, and protozoa, parasites, which is paras uh, parasitology, look at life cycles and economic importance of livestock parasites, e.g. endoparasites, ectoparasites, and disease vectors. Look at prevention and control, such as dipping, spraying, deworming, sanitation. A topic here is fisheries and wildlife. Look at fish culture system, common types of fishes, tilapia, catfish. Look at extensive systems, inland and deep sea fishing, lakes and rivers. Look at semi-intensive system, dams. Look at intensive system, fish ponds. Then factors to consider in ponds establishment and pond management, e.g. pond fertilization, liming and desilting. Then look at fish harvesting and processing methods, uses of drag nets, hook and line, curing, sun drying and smoking. Fishery regulations, then we'll look, talk about wildlife management, habitat conservation, feeding, domestication, harvesting, processing, and wildlife regulations. Ninth topic here is beekeeping, apiculture, meaning the importance of apiculture, types of bees, exotic and indigenous bees, methods of beekeeping, is the traditional and modern beekeeping, equipment and safety measures in beekeeping. Tenth topic here is animal improvement. We'll talk about methods of animal improvement. E.g. introduction, breeding, quarantine, selection, breeding systems, inbreeding, line breeding, cross breeding, official insemination, sorry, artificial insemination rather. The fourth section is agriculture, economies, and extension. Look at factors of agricultural production, land, the types of land ownership in West Africa, labor, capital, management. Look at basic economic principles, demand and supply, of course. Look at production function, inputs and uh, output. Input output relationship, input input, output output, input output relationship, stages of production, concept of diminishing returns, scale of preference and choice. Then the third topic is characteristic features of agricultural production. We will look at smallness of farm holdings, biological limits of farm production, and susceptibility of farm production uh, to climate, seasonability of farm productions, price elasticity in demand and supply of agricultural produce. Then, uh, fourth topic here is labor management. Look at labor relations, supervisions, types of labor, permanent labor, uh, and the likes, national labor laws and regulations. Fifth topic here is farm management. We will see qualities, functions, and functions, and problems of farm manager, records and record keeping, types and importance of record keeping, livestock pro uh, records, profits and loss account books. Look at stock valuation, gross and net profits in farm management, appreciation, depreciation, and salvage value. D, look at agricultural insurance. Look at meaning, importance, and types of agricultural insurance, problems of agricultural insurance. Six topic is marketing of agricultural produce, importance of marketing, marketing channels. Characteristic features of agricultural products affecting their marketing. 
Then seventh topic here is agricultural extension, where we'll see meaning and importance of agricultural extension, the role of agricultural development programs, investors, research institutes, and farmers organizations. Look at extension methods, including demonstration plots, use of visual aids, mass media, etc. Problems of agricultural extension in West Africa and possible solutions. And that is sort of the last session, agricultural technology. So the first topic here is farm surveying and farmstead planning. Look at meaning and importance of farm surveying and farmstead planning. Look at common surveying equipment that uses and care. Common surveying methods, principles of farmstead outlay. So look at simple farm tools. We we'll identify simple farm tools, uh, how to use and maintain them, how to uh, we'll compare disadvantages and advantages of simple farm tools. Today, we we'll see farm machinery and implements, we we'll see types, machinery, DJ tractor, milking machine, and we we'll see implements, we we'll see uses and maintenance of farm machinery and implements. That is sort of mechanization and source of farm power, source of farm power is the animal and machines, Ad advantages and disadvantages of agricultural mechanization. Problems and prospects of mechanized agriculture in West Africa. Fifth topic is processing and storage. We we'll see processing, traditional and modern methods of food processing, e.g., gari, rice, granite processing. Then we we'll see storage also. Then we we'll see introduction to biotechnology. Basic terms, e.g., tissue and anti-culture, in vitro fertilization, and genetic engineering. Then seventh topic is application of ICT in agriculture, features of computers, use of computers in agriculture. Disease and weather forecasting, ration formulation, database and simulation studies. Then we we'll see use of communication gadgets, e.g., mobile phone, internet, etc. A topic here is introduction to agricultural research and statistics. We we'll see basic concepts in planning and cultural experiments, e.g., hypothesis, treatment, and control. Then we we'll see interpretation of results, e.g., measures of central tendency and experimental errors. So this is the recommended test. Okay, if you have the Auto School Jam app, you never need to buy it as well because the classroom feature has lecture notes that have been structured according to this Jam syllabus. Okay, but of course, uh, the texts are recommended. That means if you do not have any agricultural textbook, you can buy any of these, any one of these, not all, just one, and use it to prepare for your exam. My name is Master T. I'm the Grand Commander of the Auto Schools Army. Please consider share these videos, like our videos, and of course, download the application, activate it, and start preparing for the exam immediately. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me.